The time was 1327 hours on 3 June 2015. Hawaiian Airlines Flight 36 took off as scheduled from Honolulu to Phoenix and in so doing, made history. For the very first time, aircraft communications addressing and reporting system data would be transmitted over swift broadband on a commercial aircraft. And this use of satellite-delivered, secure, always-on internet connectivity to aircraft cockpits could transform the airline industry forever. But first, the Inmarsat Swift Broadband Service, underpinning Cobham Satcom's aviator system, would need FAA approval as a safety service. To that end, Cobham and Inmarsat partnered with Hawaiian Airlines to run key in-flight evaluations. It's very important when you take, undertake something like this to have good industry partnerships and um, to have Hawaiian Airlines uh, join us uh, along with Inmarsat. Uh, it was a real uh, uh, coup for us because we really needed a forward-looking airline that could appreciate what this new connectivity, this new faster, lighter, smaller system could do uh, for their operations tomorrow and in the future. Hawaiian Airlines agreed to equip its fleet of Boeing 767-300 aircraft with the current generation of their Aviator Swift Broadband solution to transmit ACARS, ADSC and CPDLC messages and then collect data on the quality of the communication from ground to aircraft and back. As we were developing our eFly uh, concept, the electronic flight information environment, we looked towards our 767 fleet and realized that its ability to download data would not be sufficient to fully benefit from the concept that we had, we had developed. The amount of information that we can provide to crew members in flight, to the pilot crew, is vastly improved by having this installation uh, on the aircraft. Essentially what we're measuring in this evaluation is uh, speed of a message to go from the aircraft uh, back to ATC and then back to the aircraft again. Uh, we're measuring uh, if the messages are uh, consistent within requirements for the FAA, things like uh, RCP 240, uh, RSP 180. Uh, so far, we are meeting, in most cases, exceeding uh, those requirements. Aviator S will allow for uh, airlines to operate uh, fans routes over Swift Broadband uh, FANS routes uh, allow aircraft to operate in uh, reduced separation, meaning more aircraft closer together. Uh, when they do fly the FANS routes, uh, they have uh, better uh, fuel burn, uh, they get more direct routes, uh, which uh, uh, directly impacts the airline's bottom line. With the approval of Swift Broadband as a safety service, coupled with extensive network enhancements and the purpose-built aviator system, pilots will have dedicated IP connectivity to the cockpit with real-time access to critical data. Approval of Swift Broadband in regards to fast data transmission is a big step, uh, a big improvement uh, for pilots. Uh, in the past, prior to this system, it would take uh, several minutes to send and receive messages via data link. And now uh, it just takes seconds, uh, literally seconds, uh, to send and receive a message. From a safety standpoint, uh, if we can deviate around weather sooner, um, or if we have an emergency situation where the aircraft needs to divert to a alternate airport, we get that information out to the air traffic control, to dispatch other entities, in a rapid manner, we get responses rapidly and uh, we, we can uh, operate safer uh, that way. The quality of voice communication uh, has improved so much that it's like using a telephone, your, your cell phone or a very good landline. I would say it's a quantum leap uh, forward. Communication is key in uh, uh, safe operations. It is anticipated that with FAA approval, Cobham Satcom takes an important step closer to shipping their Aviator S series. L2 Aviation was responsible for the Hawaiian Airlines installations. On a very tight overnight schedule, essentially, three, four nights, uh, L2 has been very proficient in getting an antenna on top of the aircraft uh, and getting the avionics into the EE bay and getting the entire aircraft buttoned back up and ready to go for scheduled operations. And the result? 
evaluation data that is making the aviation industry sit up and take notice. We have over 50,000 data points now gathered from the performance of the system. And in fact, it's working better than other alternative satellite communication technologies. The secure IP-enabled flight deck paves the way for